Yeah, that's it. Song is for it. got started so now it's time to prep bernie for cletus and cars houston you can kind of tell where we're getting a leak on that antifreeze you got a little bit of smoke coming up from this area from it burning off oh yep you can kind of see it right there so Blank as you guys can see you have that antifreeze right there and then we'll try to look at all the hoses make sure all the connections are good last time i lost a little bolt that goes there so i need to grab one of those at the parts store we're going to grab some oil for this thing and a new filter and then I'll need to get, well, I need to get the hood from the Camaro out of here, but then I need to also get some tires. Whoo, those ones were cooked before. And then also fill up the bottle this week before we head out. If you're new here, this is Bernie, our 1986 Chevy S10 with a 4.8 liter LS on some nitrous. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, please do so. We're setting a goal this year to hit over 20,000 subs on the channel and I'd appreciate your help getting there. Drain, baby, drain. While that drains, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the parts store. Hey, O'Reilly's. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Although, parts. Yep. What should we put in the little unit? Some 530? Some truck and SUV? <laughs> I don't know. What type of oil do you guys run in your cars? If it was a race truck, we'd be going with some of that right there, but I don't think we need to go that crazy. Well, after looking at prices, even though Riley stuff's only 23 bucks, so VR1's right about the same price as everything else, actually a little bit cheaper, so maybe we will throw some VR1 in this bad unit. That should do. So if you guys don't know, these are like medical grade rags that somebody like resells. They're super nice because they don't split like them really crappy red rags. And then everything you use. But whatever this new stuff is, it sucks. It's not near as good and it smells weird compared to the old brake cleaner. But it's some new formula. Well, that was under <laughs> the cap. So I'm really hoping that there wasn't uh, antifreeze up in here. So it kind of looks like water and oil mixed. So hopefully we didn't, and I heard something real bad. I don't know. I mean, heck, we would have saw water come out of the freaking drain plug before the oil. I mean, there wasn't a ton of, I mean, it looked decent. It was a little clumpy on the initial drain, but cause this the, kind of had this crap here that kind of pushed out of here, honestly. Um, so it's kind of some venting some of the crankcase. So maybe it, it was got so hot that it pushed it through possibly uh during that burnout so like i said there was some uh you don't want to look down there right now you have no coolant damn near uh it's about half i'm it's sure it's less i'm sure it's puked some out because <laughs> of the uh from the burnouts getting a little warm but i don't know i mean she's gonna go out she's gonna go out of the bang that's for sure but I don't know, guys. I don't know how long it's going to last. You got your light. The only light. thing I care about is if this motor blows and you still win. <laughs> right. Mm. And I see oil in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of kind of that gunk on that bolt right there. Hmm. Well, shoot. Well, while I think about that, 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull a couple plugs and see how see how plugs are looking. Since we did spray this thing with nitrous for you know two minutes straight. Plug number one. So plug number one doesn't look too bad really. These are the little half straps. This is the same plug I run on the Camaro, so that strap is supposed to be short. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Pull a couple more and see where we're at. I guess I probably should have checked. I, I don't know what was in this prior. There's probably still some junk in here prior, so I don't know how much of this is from it or not, but I don't know. There, it looks like there's a little bit of water there, but I mean, in all reality, it doesn't look super terrible but i know like you can see all the shiny stuff i i know that there's crap in this thing it's not like i cleaned it before i drained the oil out so who knows this thing sat around for quite a while it probably has a bunch of crap in it but you can kind of see the water separating right right there but this could have had water in it from just from sitting around and sitting outside and stuff too so i don't know i wonder if we should title the video a uh Lincoln locked seven and a half. It's going to last longer than the 4.8. <laughs> Rear end might last longer than the 4.8. I don't know. There's a look at all the plugs from the passenger side, which is where we had some of them issues. Honestly, they don't look too bad. Maybe I'll just look. I'll just take a look, see real quick. Oh, so that don't look that bad. Just this one's got a little bit of that crud. Just up in here. A little bit on the, oh yeah, a little bit. Well, shoot, what do we got going on? Well, looks like, what do you think? Some little bit of water got in there? Yeah, a little bit, not much. We got a little bit of water in there. So this thing is seen probably somewhere between 215 and 230 a handful of times on that same oil change on that same everything. So, I mean, I, I don't know why I guess it would get up in there unless it has pushed some water past it, maybe got in the crankcase and pushed it up. Um, maybe it's just crankcase ventilation and starting to get water into it. I, I'm not sure when it gets that hot exactly what happens or if it's like starting to float the head gasket, maybe it hurt it a little bit. Um, I mean, I could always, as it sits right here, I could always retorque the head and that might not hurt to try it i mean that's what they always say is put them through some heat cycles and retorque them anyway so maybe that's what i'll do is i'll go ahead and retorque the head gasket while it's right here and then i don't know hope for the best uh, i'll probably grab a compression tester and run compression on the cylinders just to see where we're at and that's really all i can do i mean it's not terrible but it's not great either I went ahead and pulled the valve cover all the way off and you guys can see the, the metal is like sweating or it's got, I don't know if it's fuel or what, but it's kind of, you guys can see it's just like a whole bunch of water up in here and you got that little bit of mixture there, but it's almost like this stuff's sweating, which it is. I mean, like I said, it's gotten down to like minus, I think 11 yesterday and we're out here. So I don't know if it's some of that uh or not but we definitely i mean it's got some stuff in it that's not ideal but it's also not just terrible so it could be the start of it you smell antifreeze no. yeah so i don't know i'll probably go ahead and torque the main head studs there again and then i don't know fire it do a compression test over the next day or two and hopefully everything's good to go, but we'll at least check this side of it. Uh, I guess we could pull that valve cover too and see if it's got the same signs over there. See if it, uh, yeah, see if it looks the shot. same. So this side's got a bunch of condensation in it too, but honestly, I don't see much in the, in the oil on this side, just eh, a little bit right there. Not as bad as the other side though. 50-50, I don't think it's hurt bad. I think, I mean, it still runs fine, has great oil pressure and all that stuff but it, it might be on the bird or maybe it didn't get happy when it got real hot one of those times. So maybe if I just retorque everything, or at least the main head studs, hopefully, hopefully we can get through another couple burnouts with this thing. If it's only one more, then it's one more. This is all new. I'm trying to learn the whole burnout game and see what it takes to get something to live. So.
that's what we're doing. Here's the plugs out of that side. None of them look too wet. None of them look wet at all, actually, and then they actually don't look too bad either. So uh, all the plugs look good. So you guys can see, I double check torque. Everything's pretty good. It barely, barely moved, but uh, not much. Most of them really didn't move at all of torquing it. So I definitely don't think that was a problem. I mean, not saying they couldn't have floated the head a little bit, but the torque is still good on the head bolt. So let me know what you guys think. We're going to call it there for the night. Uh, hopefully be back with another video checking the compression and hopefully not going any further than that Hopefully everything checks out. We just throw oil in it and hope for the best But let me know what you guys think from what you've seen in this video what you think's going on with this So appreciate you guys watching this video if you want check out another one And if you really want to hit that subscribe button and stick around for some more. We'll see you guys next time We always do this. I turn the camera off and I sit here and I think for a while longer, right? Yo. so one chance of where some of the water could have came from is this thing has been rained on a bunch at Cletus the cars that got rained on uh driving back and forth the Cletus the cars got rained on tons of dew and everything and if you guys all i did was tape this off with tape and try to seal it the best i could and then put a bag over the air cleaner so there's absolutely a good chance that some of the water could have got in from either you know coming into the headers going down kind of seeping into the uh valves into the engine down in the lower end and all that stuff and then also um through the air filter i mean i covered it up for what i could but there was a ton of rain at the last cletus and cars and all that and we i only got it on there at a certain point and so there's absolutely there's that there could have been water kind of get down and get into the oil so maybe that's all that it is maybe not but maybe again guys that's just thinking cars and doing stuff once the camera turns off figured i'd show you wanted you take you guys along with that too uh let me again know what you guys think see you next time